Hi guys, welcome back to Mariposa Homeschool. In today's video, I will be showing you how I set up this free homeschool curriculum. If you are interested, please stay tuned. If this is the first time you have come across my channel, well, welcome. My name is Jatara, and this is my channel, Mariposa Homeschool. On my channel, I like to talk about all things homeschool and motherhood. If that sounds like something that interests you, you can go ahead and click right here and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so if you guys are familiar with my channel, or maybe you haven't, um, we use in our homeschool a homeschool curriculum called the good and the beautiful and if you have ever heard maybe you haven't ever heard of the good and the beautiful they are a christian based um homeschool curriculum company and they offer several of their homeschool um not they offer several subjects and several years of those subjects for free. So K through eight of the language arts and the math for the K through eight are free. If you go on their website, which I will put up here, go on their website, enter in your email address and a PDF will pop up and you're able to just download the pdf version of everything you need um for like the course books and any of those um like paper things that you're gonna need now with the math there's a few years that require a math box and those pieces you will have to buy separately um, but there is a video I will link up here where I show you how I created a math box. I believe it was for um, the Good and the Beautiful Math 3. And I purchased all the items that we needed from Timu and it was very inexpensive. So that is a little bit of background on the curriculum company. Um, it is one of the reasons why I absolutely love this curriculum company because we are a um, working, you know, family and we um, try to keep costs as low as we can when it comes to homeschool. So it's a great option that um, The Good and the Beautiful gives these for free. Also, if you're not sure if you're going to like it or not, it's it's an amazing option for you to try them out, see if you like it, and there's really nothing to lose because you didn't pay anything for it. So um, that's just a little bit of background on the company. So now I will flip the camera around in just a minute and I will show you how I put everything together because um, you get tons of things loose leaf and there's different pieces and parts and many people put this together in many different ways but I just wanted to kind of give you um, a guide this is in no way what you have to do. I'm just showing you um, one of the ways that you can put this curriculum together. Okay, let me get all my things organized here because I just kind of laid everything out on the table. I am in my kitchen because I wanted to give more space here. So um let's start with the printing so you'll go ahead and print everything that you need the the good and the beautiful comes in for level k this is the level that i'm going to show you guys 
um, because this is the level that my daughter is going to be starting with this year and I'll be demonstrating how I put together the language arts and literature course for level K. Now the literature for level K comes in three parts. It will be the course book is one part. You also get what's called booster cards and I'll show you those separately and then you also get like these little books and they're kind of like Bob books if you're familiar at all with a Bob book where there's just like a couple pages and um, there's only like a few sight words or CVC words on each page or easy words that they can sound out. So you get those three components with the Level K Literature course book. So what I decided to do this year, I've done this a couple different ways in the past um, because even though my daughter is in kindergarten, I also have a sixth grader and we did use um, the language arts and literature for a couple years in the past. So um, what we are going to do this year is we're going to use I'm going to actually put everything in a binder so this is how I decided to um, use it this year is a binder now um, the good and the beautiful recommends or not recommends but they say inside of the course book that you can bind it that's one of the options that they give you is you can bind it the reason I decided not to bind it this year is because I don't actually print everything all at once. Um, this year, what I've done is I printed, so this is the cover. I have, this is like the very first page after the cover. Or actually, there's probably like title pages and extra stuff. This is the um, third page. So there's a couple extra pages that I left out. And then I printed lessons, like there's like a table of contents and all kinds of extra stuff, like a scope and sequence. And I printed everything up to lesson five. So that's what I have right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is, as you see, I have already hole punched it here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this title page. Let's get this a little bit closer. And I just put my title page in here. And I think this is a one inch binder that I'm using for kindergarten. I don't think you need anything bigger than that. Now we did start with the Good and the Beautiful Preschool last year and if it was anything, sim if kindergarten is anything similar, um, we've also done lessons with science and, you know, unit studies for science. I know that the Good and the Beautiful has the kids um, doing a lot of cutting and you know, for preschool they had like cutting um, of individual little um, flashcards so I did end up getting a separate folder for Tatiana to put any little pieces and parts that she ends up cutting out I'm gonna have her stick those in the folder so they're not just you know little pieces flying around everywhere so that's why we did end up getting a separate folder Okay, so I also already off camera hole punched um, everything that I have printed out here. And I will give you guys a little peek inside of what the good and the beautiful looks like if you're not familiar or haven't seen anything or you're just kind of curious on what this looks like like I said I did not print every single page um, because I just felt like it would be a waste of ink if I didn't need it 
but what I am going to do is I have some dividers and as I'm showing you some things I'm going to add a couple dividers in here. So let me grab my dividers and I try to reuse as much as I possibly can. So these are dividers that I had used in one of my son's old, I think it was maybe art or language arts or something binders that he no longer needed them. So I took them out and then I've got fresh labels here and I'm just going to put new labels on them. So let me see where I want. First page we come upon is actually before they have a page here that says, hope you guys can see this okay. Before starting a level K, um, they want you to, your child to be able to know every single one of these letters and the sounds that they make. Then we have the items needed. So this is a page that lets you know what you're going to need. Basically some extra items that you're going to need. Well, this is what your course set comes with. So it comes with the course book, the reading booster cards, which I will go ahead and show you now. These also come as a PDF print. Um, this lovely pack I can absolutely not take credit for. One of my friends was so gracious enough to put this all together. She used it for her child and they were done with it, so she gifted it to me. Um, the only thing I changed was this little thing here. I added this metal and she had like a cute little ribbon, but I just wanted it to be a little more sturdy because my child was kind of rough on her stuff. But she printed and laminated everything, which I was so, so thankful for because that's so much work. Um, but yeah, this is your booster cards, which also come with your pack. It has CVC and sight words, which I'm so excited to get into. Can't wait. Um, it tells you that you're going to be using a couple apps. There's a new tile, like word tile app or letter, letter tiles app that we are not familiar with because I've never used the level K. Here's just a couple little extra items that you're going to need for unit one and looks like some fun stuff like paint and googly eyes, a craft knife, a car key, a spoon, a leaf, just fun stuff like that. And it goes through every unit. It's unit one, two, and three. Goes over the letter tiles app. Gives you some more stuff about the course. And then here is our table of contents. So I am going to go ahead and stick a divider right in here because this is a page that I am going to want to um, keep track of or be able to go back to. So I'm going to find this here. going to take out, these must have been Tatiana's old things because it says colors, <laughs> so that must have been hers. And I will write All right, let's table of contents. Stick that in here. This might be a little too long. Uh-oh, did I grab the wrong, wrong ones? I think I did. I grabbed the wrong ones. Oh, well, I'll have to find the right ones when I'm ready. I'll see if I can go find the correct ones. Oopsies. For now, it'll do. For all intents and purposes of this video. 
it is fine I'll fix it later here is at a glance love this page so it basically tells you everything that your child's going to be learning going over I'm so excited gives you the scope and sequence of your reading booster cards which I am not familiar with these reading booster cards I have no idea what these are about because we've I've never had a um, child using the good and the beautiful of okay Gabriel my oldest went to public school in kindergarten so this is my first kindergartner that I'm homeschooling it's kind of scary and exciting all in one it is telling you stop and complete these steps before beginning the course and then I definitely want to go ahead and stick a um, divider right here at the beginning of unit one overview so I'm gonna do that for every single unit not for every single like lesson but I am gonna do that for the three units that this um, course is divided into so let's see unit two You know what I could do is just write on the back side of this. Instead of having colors, I could just write table of contents on here. I think that's what I'll do. That looks better than this giant one. So I'll take that out. Try not to lose my place. Put that in there. And then, where did my other one go? I lost it. It was possibly... This one is going to do blue and instead of science, it's going to say unit one. Perfect. There we go. Crisis averted. Yay. Okay. So you guys let me know how many kindergartners you've had. This is my first child that I'm teaching how to read all by myself. Um, I'm excited, but also nervous. She's doing really well. Um, she knows all of her alphabet already she knows all of the sounds that they make so we are definitely heading in the right direction we're doing great with bob books she's so interested in books she loves reading we go to the library at least two or three times a week every monday at least so you know we're definitely headed in the right direction um and i know that you know it doesn't every child is different and um, that doesn't necessarily, you know, her being able to read doesn't necessarily mean that, um, she's not learning or, you know, she's not, um, I'm not a good teacher or she's not smart or, you know, anything like that. I'm just saying, you know, it's just intimidating. Um, when a lot of people around you are like, oh, you know, that's not, a conventional way of learning and then you have people you know trying to on the outside waiting for you to fail it is it's a lot of pressure but I know you guys understand so for right now I'm just gonna leave these two tabs in there that's good enough for me um here's my booster cards and I think what I'm good I've decided to do 
I'll insert a picture here of what those little books look like that you get, but there's a lot of them. And I don't think I want to print those. I might print a couple of them just so she has something now and again physically to hold. But I think we might just do those through the computer. I don't think we're going to actually print those, all of them. So yeah, that is pretty much how we're going to do this course book. I'm super excited. Oh, um, for math, let's, let's talk about math. Okay, so I just figured I'd turn the camera around so we could talk about math. So for um, kindergarten, we do plan on using the Good and the Beautiful for math. Level K is, again, also free. And, you know, you just go on there, click on free resources, and put your name and email in, and it'll just start uploading or downloading. I believe no I'm certain level K is a level that you will need a math box for so I will insert a picture here of the math box and go through some of the things that you will need for the math box but basically what I'm thinking is I may do something similar um, with creating a inexpensive math box situation. Um, my son is no longer using a math box because he's going to be in um, level four. So he is not going to need a math box this year. Level three is the last level that needs a math box. So if there's anything in there that we can reuse, then we will do that. If there's anything we can get from Dollar Tree or that we have around the house already, um, you know, we can, we'll see what we can do to do an inexpensive math box and if you guys want me to show you that I'd be happy to do that so yeah that's everything that we plan on doing for language arts and math for the good and the beautiful how I plan to put that together if you have any questions um, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I would love to know what curriculum you guys are using. We started out using um, master books and we loved it for the first year that we homeschooled and just kind of gradually um, grew out of it. But yeah, every year is different depending. I, I let my kids kind of decide if if it's working fine, I don't change it you know if it's broke I don't if it's not broke I don't need to fix it um, so let me know what you guys are using and I do plan on doing a curriculum a whole entire curriculum video very soon I'll just I just haven't ordered anything yet and that's all I have for you guys today and Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this entire video. If you guys got to stay to the end, I hope that you give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next one and hit the bell so you always get notified when I upload new videos. And I will see you in the next one really soon. Bye.